He's at the plaintiff, Alan Quashira Rivers. Al says he and his daughter hired the defendant to make a dress for Quashira's prom. And on the night of the prom, she put the dress on and the back seam split right down to her buttocks. At that point, there was nothing she could do, and she had to wear the dress. At the prom, the front seam popped open, and the whole night was a disaster. They're suing for $1,100, the amount they're owed. This is the defendant, Terrell Mason Bazaris. He says the plaintiff's daughter is a full-figured gal who hadn't put the dress on from the time of the fitting to the prom. He was very sorry to hear the seam ripped a little. He did everything he could to work it out with them. But they are tough customers who decided to sue him for almost double what they paid. And he thinks they're just trying to scam him. He's accused of being a sub-bar seamstress. All parties, please get your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff hired the defendant to make a dress for a prom, and the night she put it on, it split right down the butt, and she had to go to the prom that way. But the defendant says it happened because she's full-figured. It's the case of say no to the dress. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, <clears throat> Okay, Al Rivers and Kishira? How yes. do I pronounce your name? Kwashira. Kwashira. Yes. Kwashira? Yes. Okay, you are suing Terrell Mason Bazares? Yes for $1,100 that you want him to pay you because he made your prom dress and there were some serious wardrobe malfunctions. So it's your big day, it's your prom day, mm -hmm. it's a day every girl dreams of. I don't know if the guys dream about it as much, I don't really care, but <laughs> it's a big deal and what happens? You go out and you, you find, the, this is beautiful, you find the, do, how did you, did you design this dress? Did he design it? Did you see it in a magazine? What, what was that? Um, I had designed it in my head, and then I met with him, and he drew it out for me. Okay. And um, so tell me ab about the dress. Is it a top and a back separate? A, a top and a bottom separate? Yes, it's, um, it's one dress, and then it's uh, um, kind of like a cape that comes around to the front that buttons up so it drags on the bottom. So it's like a train? Yes. That, that's detachable? Yes. Okay. Um, so show it to me. Do you have pictures of you wearing it? Yes. So what goes wrong and when does it go wrong? Um, when I was about to leave, I was going to put my cape on and my mom said, turn around. And when I turned around, she said that you have a big hole in your dress. Yeah, that one's pretty big. Okay. So it's not a hole, it's that the stitching came loose, right? right. Yes. Okay. And then what happens? Um, so my mom said, just calm down. It's going to be okay. Just put your cape on and just don't take it off. Why didn't somebody just take a needle and thread it? Are you the mom? Yes, I'm the mom. I don't, I'm not so inclined, so I couldn't do it. Yeah, come on up, mom. I can't hear you if you're not mic'd. Okay. So when you look like we sister, saw, I can't believe you're the mom. <laughs> when we saw that the uh, that the hole with it, the hole wasn't that big. It was like about this big. No, I see the hole. So back here, we're yeah. talking about the back hole. At first, the hole was about. It was oh. the first. The hole was. This. Oh. It was the first hole. The first hole. The first hole. And then by the time she got home. The hole had dragged. Yeah. This was the first hole when she left. So I'm like, this hole is not. If it's just. Did you hand left. stitch this? No, it was machine. So when when she left, it was this hole. So I'm like, this hole is a fine. It's not that. Big. Just don't dead. take off yeah, your. Just don't take off your. Cape. But that was kind of the idea yeah. was that she should be able to take off. Yeah, so she she's was. fine. But then, yeah, but then, then she, the unthinkable. When she called, she like, mom, my whole dress has came apart. Do you have evidence of when that phone call was? No, I don't. I know. When did she call you? What she time? She called me. It was. Uh, I don't even remember the time. I'm gonna, okay. by now after I'm gonna she have here. you two switch now. Okay. And so, when does the front hole happen? Um, I got there. I called. Um, we were eating, and that's when I looked down. So it was around like eight. I want to say that's when it started ripping. I would have stapled it. But they didn't. You would have stapled it? <laughs> they told me no. <laughs> that part. So what <laughs> happened, Mr. Bazaras? Well, I made the prom dress. Um, she came over for and the fitting. she paid fitting. you 600? Uh, that's correct. Okay, yes. is that including the fabric or no? That's including the fabric, okay. yeah, Go that's on. everything, the fabric. And um, so I made the dress. Uh, she comes over for fitting and she gets fits to the dress. Everything works out beautiful. She loved the dress and they take the dress. When do you get the messages that there's a problem? Um, it was the day of the prom and um, then that's when they sent me a picture of the dress via text and um, a video, I believe, also. 
Okay. And then that's when I said, okay, I says, well, you know, I don't know what happened, what transpired there. I says, could it be that maybe, you know, the way she put it on, maybe the stitch could have popped or because it's a yeah, fitted, that fitted dress. That's it. Listen, listen. It's you a know, fitted so dress. You know it's a fitted dress. You're the, 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 the seamstress. Right. Seamstress. And you Taylor. know mm -hmm. it's got to be of a material and a stitching where mm -hmm. something like this doesn't happen, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because it's not meant to happen. Mm -hmm. And she, your last fitting was when? The day before prom. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, the last fitting was a month earlier mm -hmm. and she gained weight or something. Nah, nah, nah. There's mm -hmm. no reason for this to happen. Mm -hmm. You and I both know that. Um, mercifully, I see pictures of you having a ball at your prom because if I, if you were the kind of kid who would let this ruin her prom, I would be very very sad. You know what I mean? Um, but she, I'm looking still at pictures of her with a popped. Oh, she's got that that front hole is showing in every single picture. The dress started to oh the dress started coming apart in the front and back. Oh my O M G! I do apologize. I'm assuming. As it stretched with the body, the stitch popped. I will send you a check for $50 for the inconvenience. And then you guys say, with all due respect, yes. who was that, you or? That was me. Okay. Responding to and you. And that was at 10 o'clock. Uh -huh. And then, so what, so what are you suing for? You're suing for $600 that you paid for the dress. Right. We because what? You're never gonna wear that beautiful dress again? So the dress splits down the middle, right down to the butt. Um, and the dressmaker said it's because she's full figured. Is that a defense? No, I would say it's not a defense. Because? Because if the dress can break that easily, it probably wasn't made right. Fair enough. What do you say? You're I say no. Because? Because she didn't make the dress right. Okay, everybody's saying the same thing down here, going inside the courtroom. We paid him for it, probably will never wear it again. We can probably get it repaired. I did get an estimate of $400. They basically have to take it all the way apart and now, put it back If we take a together. recess, I'll repair it. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Honestly, it, look, the but that's not the point. The point is that she had to wear it at the prom that way, right. and I understand that. And maybe mm -hmm. maybe other people don't understand that, but I, I do understand that. But you're suing for a lot of money, so you're suing for six hundred dollars for the prom dress, four hundred dollars right. to repair the dress. Mm -hmm. So you want to get a free dress that's repaired that he pays for. Not you're not just suing for four hundred dollars to repair the dress. You also want the money for the dress back, and then you want a hundred dollars for gas. That's how you figure your lawsuit. That's right. It's a little greedy. I should be compensated for all yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Come on up, Mom. Switch with Dad or... No, no, don't switch with daughter. It's her prom, her dress. Okay. She, you stay right Dad. there. Dad, move with her. Your Honor, I figured yeah. this way. Because it took a long time for him to even get back to us. Well, we text him, and I'm like, okay. I, we didn't want to have to go through all of this. That's why I'm like, okay. So I figured, okay, you're ignoring us. You can just get the situation Did you have done. to text him over and over or no? We did text him. I mean, some people have more tenacity than others. Other people just get tired and file a lawsuit. I sent him the video of her turning around in the dress. I sent him the video. And then... Do you have the video? That's the, the video. Hold on one second. Okay, go ahead. All right, so when I, when I text him the video of her turning around in the dress, and that's when he said... And he I apologizes. He says, he I will fix yes. it when you're next in New Jersey, and I will pay you $50. Right. You say, that's so not then, enough yeah. because you've ruined her. I can't accept $50. I accept your apology, but in every picture, a hole is featured in my daughter's dress. Yes. I have sent you several pictures so you can see that for yourself. On a $600 dress, $50 will not suffice. Yes. What was the next thing you say after that? What did you think would be a fair so outcome? So then we told him to give us $200 for the dress and fix it, right? So then he said, okay, we can do that. We didn't hear what from What happened? Him. Why didn't... That sounds like a fair... That right. sounds fair. Why right. didn't that yeah, happen? And, and I, I, I did agree to that. And then? Um, but um, what happened was I was very um, busy and consumed with the personal matter of my husband and I trying to adopt a baby, and it was right. very stressful. Okay, Along I, with I, I, and I, I understand. I, I, I worked I, in like two day, until two days before I had my baby, so I really don't, you know, and I and had them. They came <laughs> out of here. Right. So really, you could return a phone call. You know what I mean? Like, that's like when people I, say, and then I got I, busy for two years. No. Right. No. I, 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 I get, and, and I dropped the ball. And You I, did and drop the ball. That's why you got sued. The next thing you know, yeah. you got sued because you because she got ignored. Right. How many times did you text him? Hello, I hello. I text him a lot of times. Right, I don't even see. I didn't. All right, so now, wait, why are you making that face? Oh, I don't recall a lot. I actually, 
I text Why does everybody keep pushing my girl to the side like <laughs> that? It's her problem, on, her she's... dress, you two switch. We're family, family. <laughs> like a giant tree. Yes. Okay. Okay, problem. So, Go ahead. yes, I'll take it from here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, darling, my witness. All right, so thank you. how many times did you have to text them? I texted him myself at least three times. I okay. asked him after we came to the agreement, he said he would do the two hundred dollars. Okay, when he, I didn't hear from him. Does that sound about while, right? When I didn't hear from that, him. Does that sound about right? They may. Yeah, I, that I sounds like more correct. than enough. I don't know that's what correct. you think. It's what correct. you think that they had to text you over and over and over means? Like it doesn't mean thirty times. Well, three I, times I, of I, being ignored. No, is I, I do believe that. All right, everybody stop. Everybody stop. <laughs> Let's talk about this because you do. The dress is beautiful. I mean, it really is. Yes, he did a good and job. Let me just say that I always say that, but I actually think the dress is beautiful. <laughs> and f step one, you're going to fix that because you want the dress. The dress mm -hmm. is really pretty. You can wear it again. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're going to fix that. You're going to reinforce it rather well. And then what we are boiling this case down to is what's fair. Right. And what's fair for having to chase you for it because they had to chase you a little. Yes. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. many fittings did you go to? How many fittings? You know what? Dad, sit down. I want her right <laughs> in the front and center. That's what I want. Okay. I want. How'd your prom go? It was good. I just had to leave early because I was getting like really upset about my dress being ripped. I Why would you leave early over that? Because I couldn't enjoy it. I couldn't take the pictures that I wanted. Oh, stop it. You took a bunch of pictures. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're doing all the things that kids do. You had a good time. Did you know, who was your date? Um, my friend, Eddie. Okay, did you have fun with Eddie? Yes, I did. Okay. All right, darling. I'm going to order the return of $250, plus your court costs, of course, plus the repair of the dress. So let's get the dress over there. We'll monitor that it gets fixed and that it gets back to you. Okay? That's my verdict. Now, listen, that 250 does not go in daddy or mommy's pocket. Hey. Okay. Hey, it goes in your pocket. That was her humiliation, her embarrassment. Don't you dare let them take it. In fact, I'm going to, in fact, here's how it's going to, how old are you? 18. Yes. Okay. Al Rivers, you are dismissed as a plaintiff. And she retained me. I'm, I'm I her don't counsel. care. Kachira <laughs> Rivers, that retain. money's going into Go your name. Me. That's my verdict. Good luck, folks. I'll be back. I'm suing her. <laughs> Well, here comes the defendant. The plaintiff has prevailed. Going to cost you 250 bucks. Plus, you got to fix it. Yes. You know, you could have saved a lot of trouble by doing this and answering those texts, don't You're you think? Absolutely right. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. But the judge did congratulate you. you. Said you did a good job. Just didn't sew it very well. All right. Here come the plaintiffs now. Well, listen. Uh, you know, it's, it's a shame you had to come to court to do this, of course. but anyway, you looked like you had a good time in court. Right. We did, we did. I just didn't like the entrance. He caught my daughter on the heavy side, and he just didn't stitch well. No, if he thought, thought right. she was heavy, he should have stitched it right. right. It doesn't matter about size. A dress should stay together, period. Right, right, Especially right. when you're paying that kind of money for Everybody it. Everybody agrees. That's, no, that's it. No doubt about it. That's right. You deserve to win. Congratulations. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you all very much. All right. All right. <laughs> Well, this one worked out okay for the plaintiffs, Harvey. Okay, um, Doug, look, the $250 is what the judges often called rough justice, which means that you have to just figure out what is it that she lost, and clearly this got in the way of the prom.